we're going to cover congenital heart defects briefly, all right? Now, there are different types of congenital heart defects. I'm only going to discuss three. So, three different kinds. And the ones that I'm going to talk about have to do with the septum, all right? So, what is the septum? That is a question you have to answer before we, we can continue. So, go ahead and take three minutes. Go figure it out. Look it up in the dictionary. Google it. I'm just playing. Uh, the septum is this right here. The middle part, that middle wall within the heart that divides the left. No, this is the right. The right side of the heart from the left side of the heart. This is the septum, okay? Right here, septum. It's the heart and the septum. Got it? Good. All right, so I'm going to discuss the three most common ones um, that you will find out there. Obviously, as an EMT, you, you don't have to really know in depth about this but you are tested on these right here so that's why i'm going to cover them that way at least you know what's up um when you see it in a test when you hear about it you can have a, a intelligent conversation right about it because i mean the more you know the better anyways that's just the way it is so i'm going to start from top to bottom now depending on where the the defect is that's what it's going to be named after so for example on top right here you have the atriums right Barely enough room. Atriums. You can't even. Right. That's good enough. Atrium. So if you have a defect, when we're talking about when we're talking about a defect, really, and when it comes to the heart, we mean a hole. So there's, there's a hole somewhere. There's a hole that's leaking, that's allowing blood to leak from one place to another place. So you have what's called the ASD. So arterial septal defect. That means that art arterial that it's in the atriums, right? So if it's in the atriums, that means that you have a hole between the two atriums and blood will most likely leak from here, from the left side to the right side. Usually, that's how it works. There's, more, there's always more pressure on the left side. So if, you have, if your patient has an, an arterial septal defect, you have a hole between the two atriums and blood will be leaking from not really leaking, it's more just like pouring. It's, it's, it's more than just leaking. It's going to be pouring from the left side to the right side. All right, now, you also have the ventricular septal defect. What do you think that means? That means it's in the ventricles. So these chambers down here are called the ventricles. So if you have a ventricle septal defect, that means that you have a hole between the two ventricles. That's all that means. As simple as that. Defect, when it comes to the heart, just think a hole and you should be good to go all right when it comes to the hole when it comes to the heart defect equals hole put it down here defect equals hole now obviously it doesn't pertain to everything but if you just want to remember remember it real quick just lock it in your brain this is pop this is maybe the best way to do it all right so just like over here if you have a defect in your ventricles most likely the blood is going to leak from this side to this side so from left to right all right that's usually how it works now there are uh different defects and sometimes the blood goes from here and here and up here and then into your body there's, there's a weird combination but i am just talking about what you will talk about or see or hear about usually when it comes to defects all right so let's back up let's rewind real real quick an arterial septal defect means that you have a hole between your two atriums. Most likely blood is going to leak from the left to the right. A ventricle septal defect means that you have a hole between your ventricles and blood will leak from the left to the right usually. Now what do you think this is going to cause for your baby? Besides the fact that if it's untreated, you know, it could lead to death obviously. But... This is going to lead to right-sided heart failure. Okay? I'm not going to get any deeper into this. This is good enough as far as this goes. I am going to cover one more congenital heart defect. And that is this one right here. 
you have your atrial ventricular canal, which is a combination of these two. So, arterial septal defect plus ventricular septal defect, it doesn't sound right when I say it, it never does, uh, equals this, atrial ventricular canal. So when you hear of this, atrial ventricular canal, that means that you have a really, really big hole in the middle of your heart and it's affecting both the atriums and the ventricle portion. This is usually only seen, usually, not all the time, but usually only seen with babies that have Down syndrome. Now, I might not be able to fit this in here, but you guys get the point? So let's go, let's do just a little quick recap. Um, and again, also, after I'm done with this recap, like always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave some questions below, all right? Um, I'm here to help you guys out. So if you have any questions, uh, put them down in the comment section. I'm gonna be making a video every single day for you guys. So um, at least for the next 29 days or so, at least one video a day. That's just a personal challenge that I did for myself. So you're welcome. Um, so take advantage, leave a comment below, ask questions. If you want a video, I'll make a video uh, in more detail. But let's recap real quick, all right? Congenital heart defects. Congenital, it means at birth. So the baby's gonna have it. I'm, I'm only talking about three different kinds, the ones that you'll most likely see. And they affect the septum. What is the septum? Is the wall right in the middle of the heart that separates the left from the right. So the left from the right, all right? You have your atrial septal defect. Spell check me, I'm a horrible spell speller, so it might not be right, but what I'm saying is correct, all right? Your atrial septal defect, it just means there's a hole between the two atriums, that's all that means. Ventricle septal defect, that just means there's a hole between the two ventricles, that's all that means. And that means that blood will most likely go from the left side to the right side because there's, more, there's always more pressure applied on the left side. And that's gonna cause right heart failure. This one, by the way, this one, ventricle septal defect, is the most common out of all of them. So I'd write that down in your notes. Ventricle septal defect is the most common one. All right, and then atrial septal defect plus ventricle septal defect equals atrial ventricular canal. Bam, that's, there you go, that's all it is. But this one is usually only seen in babies with Down syndrome, Down syndrome. I hope this video helps out, and good night. I have to go to sleep.